Today we're opening all of the extra packs that I have from the every pack opening. I'm What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In today's video, we are opening, what, what, do, what do I mean by extra packs from the every pack opening? So when I bought all the packs for the every pack opening, some of them came in like blisters of two or boxes of three or four. So I only need one pack. So I have a bunch of extra packs that we can open in this video. Here they are. So basically we have a Forbidden Legacy. I pulled out the little uh, Pop-Tart pack for the every pack opening. So we have these three packs out of that. We have a Force of the Breaker. I ended up getting two of these by accident. Um, one of them was donated and this one I had like concerns with, so we're gonna open it up and see what it is. Uh, then we have a Dark Legends because this comes in two blister or packs of two in the blister, so we have one extra one. Then we had an entire uh, legendary collection three, so I only need one of those five packs. So we have four packs. These are like crazy valuable. They're like a hundred bucks each. So this is actually the biggest pack we're probably gonna open today. We got four of them. We got a couple or one extra Chaz pack from Chaz Princeton. Another Dark Revelation four. I mean, we're talking big time packs because this comes in that power pack with two, so we got an extra there. We have premium gold, so we got a couple extra there. We got premium gold return to the bling those come in packs of three infinite gold also comes in packs of three dimensional guardians one of the worst sets ever we're gonna open that up synchro storm probably one of the worst sets ever but it does have baron still so we could pull that and then maximum gold and maximum gold el dorado so a lot of gold and then some other really cool stuff that we're gonna be opening i think a pretty nice variety of packs and i'm excited for this video but before we hop into it we have a giveaway i'll be giving away this seal of or calcos this is from the legendary collection we opened this is from the power pack then we have a gores uh this was also from the dark legends pack and then this is from when we opened a Rava Ale pack, and then I had this laying around. So we got five total cards. Three are from the actual every pack opening. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you're excited about in the every pack opening, which pack, which card we could potentially pull. And uh, yeah, it should be soon. All right, let's get right into it. This is going to be fun. Like, I'm actually really excited for this. I'm super excited for the every pack opening. I almost recorded it now, but like, I've got some friends coming over, and I think like it's going to be too long. I could still be recording when they're coming over. So, you know, we, we got to do that tomorrow, I think. So, Max. Maximum Gold Eldorado. My editor is going to have a very fun time editing that video. Two plus hours potentially. Um, I don't know yet because I haven't recorded it. Let's see what we can pull. Can we pull a... Wait, okay. This is Eldorado. This has access code, right? I think. I can't remember. It's this one, right? Not Maximum Gold. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, Cursed Eldland. Okay. Very cool. So uh, we're starting off with that. Now we've got regular Maximum Gold. Isn't this one that has like uh, the toad in it? And he was like $25 for the gold rare or something like that. It was nutty. So I don't know if it's still that price. Let's try and pull that anyway. Temple of the Six. We got a Miracle Contact. Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Cool. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Just got to reprint in the tens, which is probably going to be worth a lot more than this because people like secrets more than they like the gold rare. That's just how it goes in these openings. Okay. Let's do the Synchro Storm. Let's just get this out of the way. Uh, yeah, this is the worst set ever. I'm trying to jinx it into pulling Baron like we do with, um, what is that set called with the firewall? That one. We were trying to do that jinx again. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, that'd be nice. The double yo-yo and the white steed of floral knights. So this, this set has one good card. It even has a ghost shirt. That card's not worth anything. So that shows you how bad it is. Let's just go ahead and knock out the dimensional guardians as well. These are the ones that are not too exciting. You know, not too crazy. Let's see if we can pull something good. I don't really even know what's in here. I think cyber angel stuff. Oh, raid raptor replica. There's an ultra rare. That's not guaranteed. Okay. I don't know if that's worth anything, but it's an ultra. We're not going to complain there. Extra packs pulling some good stuff. I am okay with that. On to, uh, isn't this the one we opened recently? The infinite gold. We did new versus old gold. I also am going to be opening an original 2008 gold series at some point soon. So if you guys are looking forward to that, let me know in the comments because original 2008 can pull the crush card. That card's very expensive. It's like one in 10 boxes or something insane like that. Master Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer, the Ice Hand, Mistaken Arrest. Red Supremacy Secret Rare. All right. And then we have a uh, Seer Metal Blanche of the Burning Abyss. I remember out of this set, there were tons of cards worth like three bucks. Like almost every card was worth three bucks. So very solid value in that set because gold just it has a lot of good reprints and stuff like that. Premium gold next. All right. I don't remember what's in premium gold. Let's just see what we can pull. Ooh, an Honest. That's very beautiful. Okay. Old gold better than new gold? I mean, we never really settled this. Some people said yes, some people said no. I think a lot of people said yes, though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Honest with... Let's be honest. Get it? Get it? All right. Number C C6. Cool. Number C15 gimmick puppet. I think that might be a decent one. Secret rare. Chaos Sork for those old school decks. And then Spirit Reaper. Very, very nice. I mean, those are just a ton of cards that are useful in old decks. Very, very cool. You'll love to see those. All right. Let's let's do a legendary collection. We have four of these, even though this is one of the most valuable packs. I said this was the most valuable. I forgot about DRO4. That's probably more. Okay. In here, we get secrets, we get ultras, we get supers. Everything in here. Let's go. Magicians Unite. 
We have the Mirage Knight from Dark Crisis, super rare. This is just the common reprint. Uh-oh, Rux and Special Contract with Dark Master. Horse's Servant. Blockluster Soldier. There is a Dark Magician girl in here worth a few hundred bucks. So if we could pull it, that'd be pretty amazing. Uh, two Defense. Smashing Ground Ultra Rare, pretty good. All right, Secret Next, maybe? Compulsory Evacuation Device. I know this is like three bucks, so... Hey, $3 out of a $100 pack, worth it. Easy, Boganian. Okay, we did the perfect pack trick there. What do we want to do next? Let's go back to the beginning. Let's do a little Maximum Ghoul. This is a very nice, very nice variety of packs here. I'm liking it. All right, the Altergeist uh, Conquiry. We've got the number three. We've got the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. This is a good card. Oh, Rux and Special, no! That's two cards. I Rux and Special, two cards. That's pretty impressive. The Tinky and then the Romulus. And, but it's with these gold cards, they stick together. It's very difficult. Let me just tell you. All right, regular old Maximum Gold. We're back at it again. What shall we pull? We have number C101. Solemn Judgment. Nice card. Unexpected Die. This is also a good reprint. Uh, number 74. Cosmo Town. Okay, and then the Set Rotation with the DD Warrior Lady. Another good card. Some good stuff there. Back to the premium gold. It's almost a gold opening at the beginning right now. A lot of gold, a lot of awesomeness there. We have the Arcanite Magician. That's a nice gold card. Firehand. The Shared Rod. We've got Fire and Ice Hand so far. Wait, is that a secret rare? Oh, that's a secret rare. Nice. And then we have uh, the Sukum Sukumo Slash. And then the Virgil Rockstar of the Burning Abyss. So it's weird how they do like secret rare like every other one. It's like not secret, secret, not secret, secret, not secret. Very interesting. All right, next up, we ran out of space on our computer. That's never actually happened, so I needed to delete some stuff. But I think we're good to go. I don't think we missed anything. I'm going to be keeping an eye on that so we don't, you know, get behind or anything. First, we have a secret rare, Blackwing, Panaki, the Waxing Moon, the Isolde, Bell of the Underworld, the Isolde, I should say, the Gores of the Emissary of Darkness. We gave one of those away. Preparation of Rights, good card. And then Compulsory Evacuation Device. We pulled a couple of those in this video as well. That's always funny. So more good gold stuff. Time for another Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World First Edition. Yeah, these are crazy in First Edition. So this is pretty cool to open these up. We've opened one recently when we did every Legendary Collection and forgot that we didn't do Kaiba. Go check that video out. That was a fun video. Level of Area A with the Swift Gaia. The Dark Mirror Force. We didn't do the, uh, the pack trick this time to make it perfect. The Spiritualism. Oh, Rux and Special right past it anyway. Wasn't meant to be. We got the Dark Mirror Force. Next is an Ultra. Beckoning Light. This is a pretty decent card. And then finally, we have a secret rare of Mystical Space Typhoon that has been printed many a time. We have a few of those. Solar Flare Dragons, also pretty cool. And then Horus. Horus, uh, like level 8 common, is like 10 bucks out of the set. It's insane. So if we could pull that, that'd be a nice... Uh, and we still wouldn't make our money back, but it'd be nice. Okay, what do we do now? I think we go back through and just start opening everything now. Let's go through our last maximum gold, El Dorado, El Dorado, whichever one you want to call it. I'll go with Tolmy, Red Dragon, the Rocket Tracer, the Prank Kids, Bow Wow Bark, the Weather Painter Snow, and Cyanet Mining. Remember when Cyanet Mining is expensive? Number 81, okay. Let's go through the maximum A gold, uh, the gold A. Let's see what we can pull. Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? We have the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Union Scramble, Herald of the Arc Light, nice. Middle Chase Chateau, number 15. Anti Magic Arrows. I don't think we pulled anything good out of the gold, uh, like the new golds. Not so good on those, but that's okay. We, we'll prefer the old gold anyway, right? Right, guys? Yeah, old gold's way better. Totally, totally. All right, we have the. What is this? How do you even read these cards? They're so. Like, the names are so hard to read. The. Dragositos Corrupted Nether Soul Dragon. Yeah, that is not easy to see. Absolute King back Blackjack. I remember this one being like a $4 card. Smashing Ground. We've pulled that in like multiple versions. Uh, Trap Tricks. And we've got uh, the card that made it to Duel Links. I remember this getting released because it was, I think, the first set of Synchros when it came out. So it's been a while since then. I know, I know. I mentioned Duel Links every single video. I'm sorry, guys. Premium Gold. Final pack. First edition. Let's see what we can pull. We are still recording, so that is good news. Good to see. We have the Fire Formation 10 key. The Winged Dragon of Raw. Whoa, I think this is like a $30 card. Maybe 20. I don't know. Something like that. Very nice. Okay, that's a good pull. Number 82, Heartland Draco. Uh, gold Warlord of Dark World. Gold in gold is pretty cool. You'd love to see that. And then the Icarus Attack. That turned out to be a good pack because I think the Winged Dragon of Raw is worth quite a bit. So definitely probably our best hit so far. Definitely probably. That totally makes sense. All right. Oh, we still have the Chaz here. Let's get let's get the Chaz out of the way. The Chaz. All right. Come on. I haven't actually seen that in a while, so I bet that didn't sound anything like Chaz. But it's been a while, guys. Okay. I haven't seen GX in a while. Okay. Let's see. Next. Oh, John Green. Okay. The Armed Dragon Level 3. We are still recording. 
Infernal Incinerator. All right, Chthonium Palmer and Ojama Black. Two Ojamas in one pack. I mean, can you be mad about two Ojamas? Not really. Okay, now we're down to like bangers in every pack. We got to save Dark Revelation for later. Let's do Force of the Breaker. We've actually opened quite a bit of this recently and had some really good luck, but that was unlimited. This is first edition. Can we have that kind of luck in first ed? I'll be kind of kicking myself for not picking this Force of the Breaker pack if we pull something huge, but uh, for the every pack opening, I mean, but I'm down. I'm down to do it and be mad at myself. I have this stack of cards that I've knocked over like seven times on my desk. I really need to fix that. So I don't keep doing that. All right, we have the Crystal Ray Geki. We have the, yeah, by the way, check out the last time we opened this. It was insane. We had a really big ulti pull. Uh, backs to the wall. We got the Last Resort, Cut My Life Into Pieces. We got the Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth, Crystal Abundance. We got the Hard Cell and Goblin, not Zombie. Oh, and it is a big one. Volcanic Doomfire. Whoa, Ultra Rare. Let's go. Are you kidding me, man? Oh, I'm kicking myself. We should have used this one. Ultra rare volcanic doomfire. I've never pulled this. This is cool. It's not the ulti, which would be nutty, but it is the ultra, which, oh my gosh, that is insane. I'm so mad. Why didn't I use this pack? Hopefully the other one has an ulti in it. That, that's all I can say. So that's a pretty big hit. That's like the cover card. That is insane. Right out of the pack. I mean, you love to pull the cover card. It doesn't matter how good it is. It's amazing. That is insane. I'm so happy about that. That's shocking, actually. All right. That's a sick pack. Let's go to uh, Yugi's World because we have two of these left. Can we pull the Dark Magician Girl? Oh, wow. That is a big pull. I'm excited about that now. Now I'm excited for the every pack opening, guys. We have the uh, Gold Sarcophagus. Not that I wasn't before. Feral Lamp, the Gravity Axe. Grrr. Horse of Servant multiply gravekeepers of salem that's an ultra rare that's a pretty nice card and here we go what will the secret rare be exchange a very beautiful card i don't know how much it's worth but very cool and then a rota super rare that's nice and then an emissary of the afterlife also pretty cool so all right we'll take that last few packs let's go into the spell ruler i think spell ruler en pack what shall we pull will it be epic will it be awesome i just destroyed the pack Will it be a secret rare? Will it be an ultra rare? I don't know. Let's do four, I think. We have the Psychic Kappa. Very nice. Fairy's Hand Mirror. The Griggle. Final Destiny. Ceremonial Bell. Kotodama. Octo Burser. Another nice one. The Hungry Burger. SRL dash EN. What a classic, epic Hungry Burger. And then we have. The Toon World EN. All right. That is a pretty sick version. Toon World, the SRL EN print. Very, very nice. Awesome super. You love to pull Toon World. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. You cannot get tired of it. Amazing foil pull. Pretty good pulls in this video so far. All right. I think we go Dark Legends now. Let's see what we can get in here. Can we get the Blue Eyes White Dragon? I do have one of these PSA 10. Graded two of them, actually. And then we have, uh, you know, some other cool stuff that you can get out of here. One, I don't know the pack trick. Let's just go through it. We have. Lord of D, the Luminous Spark, UFO Turtle, Gravekeeper's Servant, the Black Pendant, Mystic Tomato, Catapult Turtle, no, is that our rare? No, Gazelle, Cannon Soldier, Summon Skull, Axe of Despair, and the Right Leg, ooh, we got a Right Leg, that's always fun, but, uh, okay, no foil in there. Oh, now what, now what, uh, Metal Raiders, favorite set, Metal Raiders, here we go, what shall we pull? Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? I believe that it will be. It will be Pecanio Moth EN. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have Block Attack. The Big Eye. His eyes are big. Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. Musician King. Skull Knight. One of the coolest artworks in Metal Raiders, and that's saying something. There's some good ones. Guardian of the Labyrinth. Also, he kind of looks like the Guardian of the Labyrinth, like, you know from the underworld or something like that very cool we got the tainted wisdom we have harpy lady that's a classic that's actually pretty decent and then shield and sword not sword and shield like pokemon but shield and sword like Yu-Gi-Oh. okay i think we go legendary collection at yugi's world here very expensive pack let's see what we can pull will it be epic will it be awesome i believe that it will be here we go we have penalty game contract with the abyss thousand knives King of the Swamp also. Uh, is it not being used for some reason? DD Warrior Lady. Ultra Rare coming up. Gravekeeper's Recruiter. A lot of Gravekeepers so far. Pretty decent. And we have a... 
a sinister serpent actually a pretty sick card for like go for me. i can't even see the seeker rare. <laughs> it's so dark you can barely see it malevolent catastrophe i don't see that very often and then the summoner of illusion another dual links card from the very first set in dual links two packs to go we're gonna save dr04 for last let's go legend of blue eyes let's see if we can pull the blue eyes white dragon e in i once graded one of these psa 10 but i did not pull it i don't think so here we go one two three four let's go we have spike cedar beautiful the Mammoth Graveyard, a mammoth that protects the graves of its pack and is absolutely merciless when facing grave robbers. Interesting, the Mammoth Graveyard. So wait, he protects the graves, but he's also dead. So it's very weird. Fire Grass, we got the Dark World Thorns. Kagamusha, the Blue Flame. Beast Fangs, beautiful. Flame Manipulator, he will manipulate the flames. Frenzy Panda, is it the next one? Is this it? Oh, the Dark Hole. I feel like I've pulled Dark Hole like a hundred times. It's insane. We pull Dark Hole all the time, which it's a great card. One of the best supers. I mean, like probably in the set in terms of playability. So I guess we can't complain there. A Dark Hole at it again. And the final pack of the opening, we have Dark Revelation Volume 4. This one is the Dark Revelation that they mastered. They put Seeker Rares in here and they made it awesome because of those Seeker Rares. We could get DD Assailant, which is a huge card. There's a lot of very expensive cards like even in common out of here. So I don't really know how many we... There's like a lot of cards. There's 12 cards. So we're just going to do like four maybe. Let's just do three. I don't know. No, we should probably do... Wait, let's just do four. We have Shattered Axe. Okay. The Forces of Darkness. Spark Blaster. Hero Flash. We pulled this in ulti the other day. That was cool. The Avalanching Asa. Adhesive Explosive. Psychroid. All right. The Malice Ascendant. Rottweiler. Very nice. We have, is it next? Okay, the Yard the Liberator and. System down. No, a system down and Hero Barrier. Okay, so nothing in the DRO four pack. But you know what that means? The other one definitely has something for the every pack opening. It doesn't actually mean that, but I, I choose to believe that. If you guys are looking forward to that video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for 150,000. We might even be there by the time you see this video. I'm going to be recording that one very soon. We're going to have the editor working on it. So it should be coming out sometime close to when we hit that 150k so that's gonna be awesome I'm looking forward to it so thank you guys for enjoying the channel for so long and i hope it's an amazing video shout out to choice 333 nightshade gaming yt hayden jameson squirtle hoppus flexi boy dizzy ernesto deanda puffins of doom tcg trusted cards jt cho tomato juice daxter tone Fo show and then high show christopher ward ian musa john nolan junior barding mike nance mimic gecko seth fisher stanley thomas mcclain and tone z thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time Peace.